Hi everyone, Morgan and husband here. I know he's making an appearance. <laughs> uh, okay, so see this little, where is it? I always do this with my hands. There, I'm just gonna look at it. <laughs> uh, that is a weather station. And a lot of people have asked about this. This weather station has been just the freaking best thing that we've ever had. We've had it about a year. Yeah, about a year. Maybe a little we over a year. We had it down in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And it was super, <laughs> super nice to have it there especially because um it got really windy there so we'd always be like oh what's the wind and it's always very curious anyway let's get a close-up of it okay so this is lacrosse technology see lacrosse i have not been able to find this exact place but i will get husband to try to get link it to as direct as to this product as possible we bought this one on amazon yeah specifically so, so we can link you to the specific amazon but basically, uh, you see there's a little cable running off of it. We've got it currently plugged into the wall. Um, so it is using electricity, but it has batteries in it. Uh, so if we unplug it, it'll still work. Uh, we just have it plugged in so that we don't use up the batteries when we don't need to, because we do have electricity. Um, it gives you a bunch of different uh, information on it. And just real quick, if you look up here, it shows us the wind. So it tells us what the current wind speed is, and then it tells us what our top wind speed is in the last hour. And so it feels like I like that. And then it tells us feels like based on the temperature and the wind. And then this little guy right here tells us the wind direction. So we can see it's coming in from the northwest, 347 uh is the heading is the degrees heading and then over here to the left this tells us what our outdoor temperature is it's telling us it's four degrees and it's 62 percent humidity outside we'll show you that sensor and then down here is our indoor it's 77 with 24 degrees humidity inside this tells us our rain level uh in the past 24 hours um, right now, absolutely nothing. <laughs> There's Far a little rain gauge outside that we'll show you yeah, in a second. Yeah, we'll show you guys the rest of it. And then over here, we've got obviously the uh, the day, the time, the date. And then above that is a forecast. You can set it with certain zip codes, you know, with your zip code. And it'll give you, uh, it'll give you a forecast for your local area. So, so you can just see it at a glance. So the forecast does use internet. So, you know, the forecast, I don't ever really look at the forecast. It's kind of cool to have it, but... So we actually had a little bit of a trouble getting it set up. You have to set up the forecast through the app and like... It's 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 kind of a little bit difficult to get set up with the app because it... The forecast. It needs... Yeah. the f There are certain areas that report forecasts and certain areas that don't. So I think for this particular forecast, it's a little bit away from us mm -hmm. because it on our exact address, our exact zip code, there is no reporting weather station that's giving a forecast. So the nearest forecast is like an hour, hour and a half away. So we just know that it's pretty much a little bit wrong on the forecast. Um, so if you don't want to set up the forecast, that's totally fine. I mean, honestly, I, I could ignore the forecast and use everything else. And I'm totally happy with this system. It, it uses internet, so it has to connect to Wi-Fi, and it has to connect to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So it's a little bit difficult to set up depending on what your internet setup is at home. Um, but they've got some instructions online, and uh, yeah. That's just for the forecast, though. Oh, it's, sorry, need, I'm sorry. Uh, you don't need you internet. Can also, for... You can also uh, monitor your stuff remotely if you've got it set up on internet so like i can jump onto my app on my phone and i can see what the temperature is at home and inside the cabin from yeah. wherever i'm at as long as it's connected to the internet but you don't have to do that you don't have to yeah it's nice though yeah you can get all the other information without connecting to internet yeah so it's just it's just it's a, just a, a, a local weather station basically yeah. So here's the uh, the outdoor temperature and humidity sensor. Um, it comes in this cool little module, and uh, I'm actually not going to open it right now. But this is just a housing. There's a uh, there's a module inside of it that is reading the temperature and the humidity, and then it's got this protective cover so that um, it's keeping basically the rain and the elements off of it, and it's getting basically the most accurate temperature and humidity uh, readings that it can get, and it connects um, just wirelessly with uh with the with the inside weather station uh it does not need internet but it is it, you know it's directly connecting to that weather station and then way up there kind of hard to see from here uh you see the little spinning uh the little spinning thing that is actually the uh the rain gauge and the wind speed and wind direction uh sensor uh it's got a little solar panel on it that's south facing to, uh, to keep it charged. It's got batteries in it that uh, the solar panel charges. Uh, on top, you can see the little, the little gate, the little mechanism is spinning. Uh, 
telling us what our wind speed is. On the bottom of that is the little direction indicator, so it tells us what the direction is. And then there's a little bowl on the very top that uh, collects any kind of precipitation uh, to tell us how much rain or you know precipitation we've got. Um, right now we've got it mounted way up high over our cabin to try to get uh, you know the best the best wind speed uh, possible. So yeah, it doesn't need internet, but as you can see, the 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 little sensors are remote, and uh, it uses its own like built-in wireless to connect to those sensors. Um, the cool thing is you can also add more sensors if you want. You can buy an extra rain gauge or an extra wind speed indicator or an extra thermometer. So if we wanted to put a thermometer somewhere else in the house or somewhere else on the property. Um, Within the within the range of this, uh, you can add extra sensors just by buying them and pairing them with your system. To set it up, just follow the instructions. That's that's what we did. I mean, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. It'll you know, you can hook it up with your uh, app or not, or just hook it up to everything outside or or whatever. So. <laughs> oh, she did it. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> all right well that's essentially our review um we really like it besides that one little the forecasting thing which i don't care about anyway but uh everything else has worked really well and it's just really nice this is accurate we see exact whatever we you know weather that's happening at our place not what's happening at a weather station an hour or two away or whatever because weather there's microclimates everywhere and we're definitely in a little microclimate compared to the um the weather station what like other weather apps will show so we're just really nice to have your own little weather station uh to show you the wind and, and exact weather at your house not at some other random weather station where else all right thank you all so much for watching conquer tomorrow by preparing today i'll talk to you all later bye